Lucas Wayne Goodsell. Dennis is going fast. Um, so, the video experiment I tried yesterday apparently has uh, scared away Mormons. <laughs> because I've got six likes that all of you can see because I allowed for that one video to be uh, made available to all Mormon haters who uh, want to dismiss their own God. In the lectures on faith that was removed from the Brighamite scripture when uh, Brigham Young had his uh, polygamy scripture put in and also replacing the uh, two uh, chapters about uh, monogamy. It talks about the necessity of having a correct knowledge to have faith in. You can't just have faith in whatever you want and feel or have an opinion about and and then thus turn it into truth with your faith. You have to have faith in correct information so that the results will be confirmed. And same with science. You're trying to establish what the truth is and so you develop theories to discover that truth and identify what is false and incorrect the Mormon church is, was intended to be scientific. And, uh, and in that video I did yesterday, Mormons have the wrong God. We've all been lied to and deceived by Brigham Young. Remember Brigham Young claimed that Adam was our Heavenly Father? Well, he wasn't too far off, except that he didn't understand or didn't want us to understand that Jesus is not the Gospels Jesus who was uh, in a result of Heavenly Father coming down to a 14-year-old mortal girl, getting her pregnant, and leaving her vulnerable to the Roman people requiring her to get married and almost getting uh, booted out of the contract that she was bought for because she was pregnant as Joseph wanted a virgin. That's the wrong God. But uh, he was correct in that the father of the true Jesus who was murdered and whose body was broken of which we break the sacrament bread and who organized the temple rituals for our afterlife and exaltation uh, yeah he was correct with that but he didn't claim the right Jesus he uh, merged the two Jesuses and so the, the Christ that we are looking for is not a, an exalted man, but a mortal man still. And uh, that's a completely new concept that changes everything in the church. The theology, the ritual, the scripture, administration, all of it needs to change in order to conform to the correct information. And that's what the lectures on faith were trying to get across, is that you, you can't know the true Christ until you pull up, plug into your equation of faith the correct information. And that's why you have to test your faith to make sure that all the false information is thrown away from your thinking processes. That's why Alma 32 
uh, talks about how to test for the correct faith, discard the false faith that comes around. And uh, it's not a practice in our current church. And so, uh, yeah, Mormons are bearing false witness when they say, I know Jesus Christ is true or lives, lives especially, because they don't understand that they're talking about a made up, created God that doesn't exist. thing is, is that Mormons can't just say, no, Travis, you're wrong, thumbs down. <laughs> that's why I set the, the trap, so to speak, teaching about the true Mormon God and watching to see if Mormons would uh, expose themselves as false witnessers. <laughs> that's now a new word. Uh, uh, and haters. Because the symbol of the Brighamite church is Lucifer, his sign, the falling star, the inverted pentagram, as it is on the keystone of the door of the temple. And you can't discard that symbol and claim it, it represents something else that it is not. So. Hopefully today, or sometime soon, uh, Judge Oberg will make her decision. Because I confronted her and uh, shocked the defense counsel, as well as the defendants, when I pointed out uh, the facts of the inverted pentagram as the symbolism of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, she's gone over a month now without deciding the case, when in the beginning she was quick to dismiss all of my motions and was set to uh, do as she was ordered to do and get rid of my case so that the church can be protected. But uh, I threw in that bombshell and all of a sudden, the whole case has been put on hold as we're all waiting for her to give that final order. The church hoping and praying she will uh, take her death threat seriously that they gave her and uh, let them go uh, versus me who dropped the bombshell as a whistleblower in the church saying, no, they set up Lucifer and the doctrine of Lucifer is the keystone of our church. And thus they are a hate organization, a criminal organization, and so forth. So, it would be really nice if she did the right thing and followed the laws of the land, which tell her that she has no choice now because the church made it easy for her. They didn't follow the law, and they confessed, and others confessed. And so it's a real simple open and shut case. I win. But she's hesitating. Because in the beginning, she was trying to dismiss me. And so now she's doing the reverse tactic of delaying to dismiss me. As a result, many more people die each and every single day during the coronavirus that was prophesied in the story of Moses confronting Pharaoh. So we all wait, all because the Mormon Church created on top of their church as the foundation stone that Nelson exposed 
that he was a fraud and a con man for with his idol god. The results as to whether good or evil will triumph.